Do you want to stop getting in your own way? Are you willing to drop your ego enough to understand the circumstances you are currently in were created by you and you alone? But you know what's cool about that? It means you can change it on your own, that you don't need to depend on exterior circumstances or people to change your circumstance or change your own life. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, I'm going to show you how you may have created an undesirable circumstance in your life and how to fix it. So there's one particular phrase that I hear pretty often and one that I even used to say to myself that <laughs> I cannot stand. It makes me absolutely <clears throat> crazy. So we know that our thoughts and our beliefs create our reality. So think about this phrase, expect the worst, hope for the best. Expect, expect the worst, but hope for the best. Like really take that in. So if you're expecting the worst, what do you think's gonna happen? And the reasoning behind this saying, if you really look deep within yourself as to why you're saying it or why you're thinking it, is because for some reason, you don't think or you don't believe that you're deserving of what you actually desire. So naturally, you're trying to protect yourself from the pain, from getting hurt, which <laughs> it makes sense. After all, we are human. Think about it. If you knew without a doubt you were going to get whatever it is that you want, that phrase, it wouldn't even cross your mind. So by saying or thinking this phrase, you are conditioning your subconscious mind to attract or bring in the worst which then attracts in the worst case scenario, which then further solidifies the belief that the worst always happens. But then, hey, you expected the worst, right? So it doesn't hurt as much. When in reality, you had no shot at the best because you had already decided that you weren't gonna get it. And there are a ton of variations of thinking this way. Another one I hear very often pertaining more so to money in particular is I just want enough to pay the bills. So there you go. You're going to get just enough to scrape by and pay the bills. Nothing for your savings, nothing for going out to dinner, nothing extra, nothing for investment, nothing else just enough for your bills. If you believe and repeat to yourself just enough, that's all you're ever going to get is just enough, just enough. You have just created your own ceiling and no one else put that ceiling there except you. And you might be thinking, well, so-and-so said I couldn't do it, or so-and-so said I couldn't have that. But as I said in my video about a month or two ago on the four agreements, if you're allowing what someone else is saying about your limitations to determine what you believe, then you're agreeing that that's the truth. And so you're, you're embedding that into your mind, into your conscious and your subconscious mind. So that's all that you're going to get. So it's still you creating your own ceiling. And as soon as you can admit that to yourself and really face it, then you can change it. Anytime a thought like that crosses your mind, a phrase, a word, whatever it may be, Bring awareness to it. Stop yourself and think, hey, is this thought benefiting me? Is this thought creating my own ceiling? Am I getting in my own way by thinking this thought? 
and then replace it with a more positive thought that's in congruency with whatever it is you want. Another thought that will benefit you. Say, say your bills are $3,000 a month. So choose a number, a realistic number that doesn't seem so far away. Like you're not gonna go, hey, I'm making $3,000 a month right now, so I want a million dollars a month. And I want you to choose a realistic number that would actually make you feel secure and, and comfortable. Let's say it's $5,000. So your bills are $3,000, but $5,000 is what would really give you that extra room to put a little in savings, go out to eat, go see a movie, put a little in an investment, put a little away for a vacation, whatever it is for you, okay? So then when that thought crosses your mind, I only want enough for the bills, you say, I want $5,000 a month. I want $2,000 more than what I need to pay my bills. You have to get a little specific when you're thinking about this or else you're just taking a shot in the dark, right? So then your second step is to change the word want into some configuration of the present moment, like am or have or something like that. So it sounds something like I have $5,000 enough. I consistently make $5,000 a month. So every time you have some kind of thought that pertains to money that's a little more negative or is feeling like you're saying, I just want something, replace it with a word that already means you have it. Because what happens is, if you say future words like I will have, or in the future I will, or something along those lines, you're projecting to your subconscious that it's always going to be in the future. As we've talked about in previous videos, your current reality is, is a lag from your past thoughts. So to change your future, you need to change your current thoughts to now. If you keep thinking words in the future, I will have, I will get, I will do this, you're just pushing it out further and further into the future and you're never going to get it in the present moment. When you say things like, I have $5,000 a month. I make $5,000 a month consistently so that I can easily pay my bills, I can put money away in savings or for away for emergencies, and I can put a little bit of money away each month for vacation. Your subconscious will begin to search and look for evidence to prove that that's true, which will eventually open doors, opportunities, whatever, that will actually bring that money into your current circumstance. Another example, maybe you've been in a past relationship where you were cheated on, been there. And after all of that, after you start to go through that recovery and healing process, all you keep thinking is, I just want someone who's not going to cheat on me. I just want someone who's going to be loyal to me. Again, you have set your own ceiling. So then the universe, God, source, energy, whatever, brings you a person, a relationship with someone who doesn't cheat on you. But maybe they don't cheat on you, but maybe they're a, an alcoholic, maybe they're addicted to drugs, maybe they physically abuse you because all you were focused on was the bare minimum and so that's where you set your bar, so that's what you're bringing in. But hey, you asked for someone who wouldn't cheat on you and this person doesn't. That's what you asked for, so that's what you're going to get. That's what you believe you want so that's what you bring in. So you really have to choose your thoughts and your beliefs and your words very carefully when you want something and you truly want to think about all angles of it and stop settling for a just. You have to stop setting your invisible ceilings. Stop thinking that you're not worthy of what you want and what you deserve. Stop settling when you find yourself in a position, in a scenario, in a situation that you don't like or that doesn't make you feel good, you have the power to change it. But you only have the power to change it if you're willing to take responsibility for the fact that you created that situation with your thoughts and your beliefs. You must be patient and consistent. Be consistent with putting out into the world, into the universe, into your mind with what it is you actually want. You deserve so much to be happy and to be loved and to be fulfilled. So stop settling for the bare minimum. You don't have to take the bare minimum. So stop getting in your own way. I hope that as you listen to this video, something in your life came to like a screeching halt in your head like, oh crap. I'm doing that. If that has happened to you, 
please let me know in the comments below. I would love to chat about it with you. And you never know, like maybe someone else is going through that as well. And we can create a community here where we can talk through these issues and figure out step by step how to rewire your thoughts in your brain so that you can start bringing in the things in your life that you want and that you deserve that are going to bring you happiness and joy and inner peace. I love you guys so much. I hope you found a lot of value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out on my channel and share it with someone if you think that they could benefit from this video as well. And don't forget to subscribe so we get to hang out again next week. I love you guys so, so, so much. Stop setting your ceilings and don't forget. Be limitlessly, no ceiling, limitlessly yourself.